Hey friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. You know what? The life of an entertainer is crazy. One day you are up and the next you are down. And for some of the celebrities on this list, we are talking down on the floor. Let's check out a few embarrassing stage moments from our faves. Faith and Kate was forced to retire from hip hop after killing us softly with her terrible bars. Her most iconic and worst performance was when she performed one of her songs for a crowd in 2020. The crowd was dead, dead. Like most of them were just looking at her, trying to figure out what was going on, while the others were actually looking for a way out of the venue. But you poor girl. She soldiered on and finished the song. Maybe if she had twerked instead. But I, I blame Pori for this one. I kill them all, get proof. I wreck it up and loose. To an up and the roof. Shoot. Remember the time Super Mega thought he could be Superman and jumped into the crowd? In the middle of performing, Mugai just throws himself into a Rustenberg crowd, hoping someone will catch him. I they didn't. But because they're focused, they made sure to take videos of that flop. What kills me is how he continued to sing even while he was lying on the ground. But you know what? The show must go on because people came for the performance. But also, hey, Rustenberg people, what was that? <laughs> Yo. ago a video of Makadzi surfaced. In it she's busy performing when a beer bottle just flies from the crowd and hits her on the head. People are wicked. So you'll pay money to go and see an artist just so that you can injure them. <laughs> but you know what? I loved how she reacted. She just stopped singing, said goodbye and left. Because clearly they were not there to enjoy her music. They can entertain themselves. One of Mzansi's biggest dancers, Kamumpela, jumped on stage for a mere five seconds, saying Udlala Gamnandi and ran off. Only to find out she had actually torn her pants before she could even perform. Yikes. Fast forward a few weeks later, she rushed onto the Idol's essay stage, stumbles and falls. But let me tell you, it's her getting up and continuing like nothing happened for me. Queen things, baby girl. H empty Wabantu one minute is performing and the next is down. He was allegedly drunk or high or both, but he claims he was just tired when he was performing in 2018. From the video, you can see he had even stopped rapping and was just swaying. And then when he tried to rap, he just fell on his back. But because they don't call him die hard for nothing, he came back up and tried to continue with his performance. Yo, I being a fan, it's a hard job sometimes. One person who will not make Zella any nonsense while performing is Kelly Kumalu. In 2019, EFF booked Kelly for a gig and she just quit after only two songs. I don't blame her though, the crowd started chanting Senzo Meiwa's name and she was like, you think I'm here for that? Then she stomped off. I get that Senzo Meiwa deserves to get justice, but bullying Kelly Kumalu will not change anything. What do you think? <laughs> The vocalist's own embarrassing moment involved him falling while performing in Sosha. He had to be carried off stage on someone's back. But the explanations, wild. While some said he was drunk, a male fan admitted that Mlindo had accepted a spiked drink from the crowd. He himself he later came out and apologized for the incident and claimed that he fell as a result of a knee injury. He even returned to the stage in crutches just to make his story more believable. But in spite of all these embarrassing moments, I love that all of these celebrities got up and kept pushing because one, they need the money and two, it's their job. There's no other way. Well, we've come to the end of the video and if you like this type of content, please consider subscribing and sharing. Bye.